And here's how to make use of the calendar for your class. Uh, you can add events to the calendar. Remember that things like assignments, graded materials, things that you add like that automatically show up on their calendars, so you don't have to add those. But let's say you have something else, maybe just a reminder or uh, something coming up special. Maybe, you, you know, this Friday is going to be cupcake day in your class. Okay, so you want to add that to the calendar just so it will show up for the students. Okay, so over here at the right is the calendar. Okay, for this class. This is all the upcoming events in this class. Uh, you can see the calendar if you click on this little icon here. It shows you the calendar, shows you everything that's coming up, and you can scroll through to see what's coming up in that class. If you want to add an event, go over here to add event. Duh. Um, and, okay, let's say that this Friday is going to be Cupcake Day. So, bring your favorite cupcakes to share with your teacher. Okay, and so if it if it's an event that you want to have RSVP for, you can do that. Uh, you can allow them to make comments about it. Uh, whatever. So if this is what you got it. Just click Save Changes and then that's going to show up on the calendar. And so when you go to the calendar then, you see it, and here it is. If you click on it, it shows uh, the item. Okay, so they'll be able to see that. Now, uh, when I was setting up one of my courses, uh, the one that is going to be self-paced, the uh, Office Applications class, uh, I was going to set up on the calendar the due date. The what I have it set up is that they work at their own pace, but they have to have certain assignments done by certain dates. Uh, by August the 30th, they have to have such such done. By September 9th, they have to have such such done. And I wanted to put those on the calendar. And I put them in initially. I was trying it out, and I put them in as calendar items, uh, just like this. Um, so I thought, okay, that would work. Uh, now the difference is that I found out that if I do that, then those items don't show up for other teachers on the workload planning. And what I was doing, they were actually deadlines for assignments, uh, but the way I have it set up, the uh, assignments themselves weren't showing up on the calendar, but I wanted to have some type of pacing reminder for the students and doing it as calendar items like this ended up it wasn't showing up for workload planning. So if you want it to show up as workload planning what you can do uh, in cases like that is you can actually add assignments. Okay, So let's say I want to add an assignment and let's say that Cupcake Day is an assignment. Uh, it's not, but let's just pretend it is. Cupcake Day so, bring a chocolate cupcake for your teacher. And that's going to be due on, we'll say that one's due on the 18th. Okay. Now, leave this category as ungraded. If you leave it as ungraded, it won't show up in the grade book. There won't be anything for that. Okay. Uh, you can go here to grading options uh, if you want, but uh, that's really going to be irrelevant. Grading scale doesn't matter since it's ungraded. Uh, down here, you're probably going to want to unclick submissions because this isn't something that they submit to and students may get confused if they say, well, what am I supposed to submit here? So uncheck that. And then when you create it, okay, it's going to show up on the calendar. Still, if you look at the calendar, there it is down here, uh, the cupcake day for the 18th. Okay, But it also is going to show up here on the workload planning. Okay, So that you see here that uh, if we look at the 18th, uh, well, it's not going to show up there because there's only one assignment and you're looking for everything with two or more items. But uh, normally it would show up if there were other things like for example here we have a student that has two things to you 
remember I've showed you about workload planning before, but uh, it would show up there so that other teachers would see it as well. So those are the two ways that you can add items to your class calendar.